All right, welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna to be changing the lower control arm on Mercedes E-Class. First thing is first, go ahead and remove the wheel. You're going to need, let's see. Nineteen millimeter. It's kind of hard to see. Nineteen millimeter socket. You're going to need. I believe this is like a come on, man. E eighteen. That's what it looks like. And you're also going to need a twenty-one millimeter. And you're going to need a. 21 wrench. So the first thing you want to do, which I've already done, is you want to unloosen this nut, which is located right in, in here, under the ball joint. I've already done this real quick, just to get a couple steps. Just unloosen that, and that connects there. It is a 21 millimeter. I used my impact um, before I got started. I used the PB blaster. Let that sit on there for a couple minutes. Once you get that done, you can take that nut off. You're going to move over to the other side of the control arm. You're going to put your E18 God damn this is a fucking camera. E18 You can use a ratchet. Or the impact, I always use impact, but you can use a ratchet. So when doing that, you're going to use the 21 millimeter, put it on the back side of the bolt, and then go ahead and break it loose. So I've already done that, I've broken it loose. As you can see, it's spinning. I've broken that loose. Leave that on there. Next thing you want to do is get a ball joint remover. You can get this at Harbor Freight for about $20. This is what it looks like. So one piece will go under where the nut is and there is a fork. It's got a glare. That's going to go in between the arm and the bushing. You'll have to tap that in a little bit. Next you're going to take your 19 millimeter socket with the ratchet. I don't know if I can get the impact in there or not. I guess I could, but we'll use a ratchet. You're going to stick that. On top of here. And you're just gonna use the ratchet twist this will come down and obviously this will come up and this will pop the ball joint nut or stud loose okay so you just want to turn this until you hear a pop Obviously, try to do it from outside the car. Don't stick your head under there. Just in case, I got it on jack stands and a jack. All right, let me just keep turning, you'll hear it pop. Let me do this real quick. All right, so once that is popped out, you can go ahead and Take out this last nut over here and the control arm will drop down. This is what the tool looks like. So 
where you put this on the stud. This part here goes in between the bushing. And then as you turn this nut here, this will slowly raise up and it'll pop. And it is a big pop. It sounds like something broke, but it is a big pop. All right. Okay. Now that's popped. We'll go ahead and unloosen the nut. It's the nut from behind the control arm. This one will slide out. And there's a washer in the back. Keep these two together. Washer in the front. <clears throat> Give this thing a little Love tap. Okay, and then voila. Here's your controller. All right. hmm. And actually these <laughs> still seem to be pretty good. Um, yeah. These are actually pretty, still pretty good. Starting to make a little bit of a squeak. And as you can see, here's the new one versus the old one. Looks like we're getting a little bit of wear and tear. Just a little bit. That's actually still good compared to the new one. This one is actually not cracking. So. Alright. I'm putting on some racing parts. That's one reason why I'm doing this. This thing here is freaking heavy. It's probably 10 pounds. This one here. I'm gonna lift with my finger. <laughs> I can lift this one with my finger. This one here. No oh, way. I gotta lift this up, so I'm literally losing roughly between eight and nine pounds. Lighter suspension, faster car. Alright, so we'll put this back in. Okay, so when putting the new one in, it's gonna go over the axle bar up and over it's the only one way it can go in you can't go from underneath and then try to lift it up it's gonna get caught so up and over drop that in I keep bumping the stupid tripod okay God damn this fucking truck, I swear to God. Let's 
see that. All right, so we, we are going to slide the bolt in. Washer goes on the back. Nut. Leave it loose. Okay, once you get your bolts all the way in, torque them down. The new one, which actually comes with a new nut, so go ahead and reuse that. Tighten that all the way up, like so, and leave everything kind of loose. Put the tire back on, lower the car down. And jack it up just a hair and then get under here and really tighten everything so the car wants to be low when you need to tighten it down. Alright, any questions, just let me know. Thanks for watching.